through lots of injuries last year. I think Coach Riley said you didn't practice the second half of the season. Maybe can you just sort of share all that you were going through uh, and what that was like? Uh, yeah. So game of football, you're gonna get bumps and bruises, man. You know, I had a uh, going uh, pushing through a foot injury most mostly second half of the uh, season, but you know. It is what it is, man. Like growing up, <clears throat> you gon' you gonna learn football. <laughs> it, it it's, it's a part of the game, I would say. So you know, pushing through is a part of who I am. So that's kind of well, yeah, yeah, shoulder shoulder as well. Uh, landed on it again at FSU game. That's why I was kind of on the ground right there. But you know, feeling good, feeling fast. Feel to be fully. I guess presumably fully healthy now. Amazing, man! Great to get back on out there with my team. Not missing any reps, you know. Wide receiver court looking fast, man. Just feels good to be back out there. Quick FYI, Adam Randall is available outside now. Uh, that actually happened. I started feeling it a lot after the Miami game, but <clears throat> yeah. So, like I said, man, playing through it is part of who I am. So why were you fully healthy, like 100% cleared? Uh, I would say that first shoulder injury was on that uh, punt return versus Charleston Southern. It was when, my, uh, when I started battling the injuries. But, yeah. When the off season, I know you had foot surgery. Mm -hmm. I guess when did you kind of fully get over that? I know you practiced in the spring. But yeah. I guess when did you get back to like 100%? Yeah, uh, yeah so just... You know, uh, recovery, recovery was a lot, was a lot of my focus in the spring. But you know, second half of spring, I tried to get a couple reps here and there, rehabbing my foot a lot, and yeah. As a guy who had success his freshman year, what do you tell Wesco? What do you tell Moore to kind of, you know, help them hit the ground running similar to the way you and, you and Antonio did? Learn, learn, man. Don't don't take that playbook lightly. Cause that's how that's how you get on the field. You know what you're doing. You you going they gonna touch that field for sure. Like. Them boys right there, they, they come in, they came in mentally more I would say more mentally ready than I was, man. They <clears throat> they they learning things faster. They they just going with the groove, man, and I, I like that about them. So yeah. What have you seen from them physically? You mentioned obviously they came in prepared, but obviously you got two guys that arrived with a ton of hype. What have you seen from them so far? Uh freak athletes, man. Physically, could gain a little more weight, but in my in my eyes, they're gonna be some pro they gonna be some problems with no question. Antonio was just in here talking about the shirts, wide receiver you and prove it. You know, obviously, for a number of years, that was Clemson's moniker, right? So what is the level of pressure you guys are putting on yourselves to prove it and to, to re-earn that nickname, so to speak? You know, definitely, uh, not only in the wide receiver room, but I feel like there's just a different en energy in the field everywhere, man. Like, you, you can feel it in the air at practice. Like, <clears throat> my last fall camp, this one right here, everyone's everyone's on it, man. You can... You can feel Coach Sweeney's holding us to that higher standard, and uh, us wide receivers, man, we we got a bit, we got big shoes to fill coming after guys like Sammy, DeAndre Hopkins, all those type of guys, and we feel like we got to prove that this year for sure. With the with the type of caliber guys we got, we can definitely make that happen. How do you go about that? Like, where does that process start in in earning that? The monitor. Uh, oh. Honestly, man, just just <clears throat> coaches, uh, they they push us day in and day out. They they keep our heads level, man. You don't. We basically just playing inside in, not listening to all the hype and uh, all the doubters. So yeah, we just play inside out and stick to what we know. Dabo told us he had shown you guys some clips of the Olympics and and those f epic finishes of guys. What finishing looks like? What's it like to? to see some of those things, how does that motivate you and just remind you of how much that much can matter? Yeah, man, Coach Sweeney, he, he always preaches not only effort, but effort with technique. And as you see in that, that Olympic run, man, No Lyles had just that, just a little more better technique, and he just had his torso over the line where the other guy's foot was over the line, but No Lyles, his, <clears throat> his whole torso was over the line, which really matters at the end. So, you know, effort with technique, man, is what we're really focusing on. Competition in the wide receiver room. You look around, and right now everybody's reasonably healthy, and there's you know eight, nine guys that can make plays. Realistically, only three, maybe four, are going to be able to run out there at one time. How do you handle the competition? To go? Uh, definitely a, uh, a deep wide receiver room, I would say. But our biggest thing is just supporting each other, man. We we all love each other. 
we all we all just want each other to go out there and do what we know we can do. So we all, <clears throat> it don't matter who running out there. We're going we gonna to push each other each and every day. We're going to support each other. We're going to have each other's backs, and that's just what we're about. You mentioned the different energy that's present this, so far. What have you seen different out of Cade on the field so far? Just... To- just definitely stepping into that leadership role. I always knew he could, uh, know he knew he could be man. He's just, he he don't he don't like slacking. So he 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 lets that be known. So if you slacking, he going he gonna he gonna let you know. So that's the type of that's the type of QB I like for sure. Anything different on the field? Just in the execution? yeah, just just maturing, just yeah. maturing. I would say. Yeah. That energy. Would you say that the change? Yeah, did it start in the summer? Did it start in the spring? At some point last year, when did you know that? Hey. Things are getting ready to, to, to change around here. I feel like we all went through that moment, uh, that four and four moment. Honestly, after that Miami game, man, we just <clears throat> we you just seen a you just seen a flip in the switch with our, with our guys, man. We know we uh, finished five five in a row at the end of the season, so finishing was just our biggest thing. So we <clears throat> we all focused on that, and we're gonna see where it takes us. Going back to Cade, I think Bill Moffat was telling us that their player-led meetings and, you know, he was up front kind of telling receivers where he wanted you guys and was really taking charge. I mean, how different was that from Cade in terms of him just, you know, even kind of leading you guys through meetings and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, definitely, definitely always, always been a leader, but, you know, he, 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 letting, it, he, he letting his voice be known this year, so he, uh, <clears throat> he, he letting us know to having separate meetings with just the wide receivers just to get our coordination right and our, uh, our timing and just, just the little things, and I love that about him. Also, player-led thing where you guys split up in like six different groups mm-hmm. in terms of you know talking to each other and getting to know each other. Right. Um, kind of what what are your what do you remember from those different types of meetings? Yeah, uh, just just Coach Sweeney, man. He he always preaches just get to know your teammates. Like <clears throat> you you one of your teammates having a bad day, you 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 know what's gonna get them going. Like you got to be able to motivate your teammates and empower your teammates. So that's that's really what that was all about, and uh, just getting to know our teammates better, to get to know what they've been going through for sure the dynamic you think between teammates when you have that kind of bond or understanding of each other uh just bringing each other closer man you know you know as some as some teams you might not uh some teams might not take each other like bickering and bickering back and forth with each other with us man it's just it's just getting better we don't have any egos on this team you know we all about well, we all got one goal and we going we gonna say what we got to say and move on about it what did you learn from Antonio last year when he was out and then you kind of stepped in and, and did some things yourself and, and he was talking about your relationship and how special, you know, you are to him. Just uh, how did he help you get better and what is your relationship like with Antonio? Uh, just his poise, man. You know, uh, he played that slot last year. He, he, he knows the game. He knows the game. Film junkie, man. He uh, took me under his wing, taught me a lot of things and just – just a leader, man. Even when he's not on the field, he's motivating us. He's he's making the team better in any play, in any way he can. Dabo likes to talk about the practice over at Jervy being a change of scenery. It's hot. It's humid. There's nowhere to hide. How would you describe the challenges of, of moving away from the practice facility and, and going across the street? Uh, you know, man, it's just a, it's just a blade of grass at the end of the day, man. You know, uh. Grass is grass. We gonna we gonna go get it out any field right now. But that that jersey a little different, a little hotter over there. No no not enough. Not a lot of shade, but you know, grass is grass, and we we trying to get it wherever we at. Obviously, you guys have some young talented guys coming in. Do you think of anything? Do you take it upon yourself in any way to lead? I mean, you obviously had such a breakout year last year to help guide them just in preparing for that, getting ready for it. How do you look at leading and guiding them? Yeah, so so basically, main thing with uh, young guys when they come in is just a mindset, you know. And uh, the young guys that came in this year, they just, <clears throat> I feel like they're mentally, they mentally got it, man. And uh, which surprised me, they 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 getting extra catches without without having nothing happen to be said to them. So, you know, they they motivate me, I would say. And we all just we all just getting better, motivating each other, you know. They 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 on the right track, I would say for sure. Is there anything? Let's go. If you kind of just think about the way he plays and runs routes, or I guess the way he presents out there, what's different, you need? Yeah, just just a freak athlete, man. I would say just route technician, just way ahead. I feel like he, uh, yeah, he he knows how to, he knows what he's doing out there in one on one situations. He uh, he's knowing, he's learning defensive schemes, and that's 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 going to be the next step for him for sure. 
I guess TJ Moore, I guess obviously he's been, only been here for a couple months, but right. what stands out about him? Right, man. His hands, I'm not gonna lie. He got that man, that boy got automatic hands. You know, he uh he got that he got that swagger to him. He got a little he got a little a little too much swag sometimes, but you know that's him. We going we gonna bring that we gonna bring that dog out of him. And once he pair that dog up with them hands, he's gonna be dangerous. What do you mean in terms of too much swag, he tries to catch it one handed a lot or like Nah, like, nah, nah. We he he know better than that one now. He know better than that one. But I would I would just say just you know, just just smooth. Like, you know how we punch in, punch out. He he got a little his his punches are just like uh, uh, and uh, sometimes it need to be uh, uh, if that makes sense, you know, <laughs> if that makes sense. It might be tough for John to write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gotta make it capital. <laughs> Anybody else for Tyler? All right, Tyler. Thank you.